Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a very basic chibi girl. I'm going to get started with the left eye with an oval, starting from the top, come around towards the bottom, and then we'll pull that back up towards the top. On the left side here, we're going to draw in a circle for a highlight. So starting from the top, we're going to circle around, then back up to the top. On the bottom right area here, we're going to draw in a slightly smaller circle for another highlight. Now I want to draw in a little curve for the pupil, starting from the side of the highlight here, and curve up towards the left, and I'm going to angle down towards the side of the iris, and we're going to color the inside area in black. Let's move up to the top of the eye and draw on the eyelash. So starting on the side of the eye, we're going to curve up, just touching the top of the eye, and then back down. Curve up to the words on the top of the eye, and we'll just curve that back down on the inside. On the outside here, we're just going to draw a little curve, going up, going up. I'm going to curve this back with a short little line coming in. Now I'm going to draw a thick line going up towards the top, and then just down towards the point on the inside. Here we go up taper to a point on the inside of the eye. We're going to color all of that in black. Just below the eye, we're going to draw in the lower eyelid. So a little curve, just touching the bottom of the eye and towards the inside. I'm going to move over towards the right and draw on this side. Now this one, I'm going to have her winking. So we're going to line up the center of the left eye towards the right. And we're going to just draw a curve going up and then down. On the outside, I just want to draw a curve going up to the top of the eyelash. And I'm going to pull this back in with a short curve. And I'm going to curve all the way down and taper towards the inside point. So we're going to start at the point here, work our way towards the outside and in. Let's color that all in black. Now just below here, we're going to draw in the mouth. So in between the eyes, we're going to draw a curve from left to right, and down, and then back up. I'm going to connect those two points with a half oval for the bottom of the mouth, starting on the left side, curve down, and we're going to pull this back up on the right side. Now let's go up above the eyes and draw in the hair bang. So I'm going to start just above the left eye, right up here, I'm going to start with a point. From this point, I'm going to curve down, in towards the middle, and over towards the right side. So just above the eyelash, then out. We're going to do an overlap and draw this again. So we're going to curve out just outside of the eyelash here. Starting up here, we're going to cross that line, going out towards the right. Let's close off that little gap here. We're going to cross like that. Now on this side, we're going to draw one little hairband coming down. Starting from the top, we're going to curve down towards the eyelash. Now we're going to pull this back up. So tapering up with that curve to the top. From here, I'm going to draw in the sides of the hair going around the eyes. So we're going to step up here, curve down and around, and then we're going to pull this in just below the bottom of the mouth. Do the same thing on the right. So we're going to step in so there's a slight overlap, down, and we'll pull that in. Now from here, I could draw in the bottom of the chin. So I want to come really close to the bottom of the mouth. So I'm going to start on the side on the left, curve down towards the chin, and we'll pull this back up on the right side. Let's continue with the hair. So on the left side here, I'm going to taper up and out around the side of the head, going up. And just kind of vanish it off there. We'll do the same thing on the right. Curving up and then out. I'm going to draw a little curl on the ends of the hair here. So stepping down here, we're going to curve out towards the left. We're going to line it up on the right side and do the same thing, curving out towards the right. Now from this point, I want to curve in and then just go around the side of the head up towards the part of the hair, just above this hair bang. So right here, we're going to curve in and then just go work our way around the side of the head. We'll go up towards the top and we'll just pull that in to right about there. Now from this point, I just want to draw a little bump that goes up to the top of the head and then again, just mirroring what we have on the left side here. Starting at the top, curve up, and work our way around the side of the head. Now we're coming down towards the tip of that hair. So around here, I'm just going to flick it out towards the right side. 
In between these two hairs, we're gonna draw one more strand of hair. So right on the side, we're gonna curve down, and we'll pull that back up, curving up. Do the same thing over here, curving down, and then we're just gonna tuck that up underneath. At the bottom of the chin here, we're gonna draw two lines side by side for the neck, and we're gonna connect those two points with a curve for the collar. Now we're gonna take the corners here and just draw two straight lines coming down towards the middle. Now from here, from this point, we're gonna step up about halfway along the neck, curving down and out towards the left, down and out towards the right. We're gonna take these two points and curve in towards the center point. Starting from the left, going up and then down. Do the same thing on the right side. I'm gonna add a little trim along the bottom. So we're gonna step up, draw a curve, same thing on the right side. Now in the middle here, I just want to draw a very simple bow. So we're going to start in the center, curve down towards the bottom, and we're just going to pull that back up. Draw a shorter one on the right side, going down, loop it around, and then back in towards the center. Now let's go ahead and draw on the sides of the body. So just stepping down from this line, we're going to step down here, curve down and out towards the left. We'll mirror the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to connect those two points with a curve down in the middle, and then back up. I'm gonna add a little trim along the bottom here. Curving across like that. Now let's tuck the arms in behind. So from this corner, we're gonna step in towards the right slightly, and then we're gonna curve this out. So it gets a little bit wider as you come down towards the sleeve. We'll do the same thing on the right side, curving out. Now we're gonna curve the sleeve in behind the dress. Curving in. And then again, we're gonna add a little trim to the cuff. Now I'm going to give her a very simple mitten hand. So we're going to start on the left side here. Right down here, we're going to draw a little curve coming down. We're just going to pull that back up. We're going to step down a little, going out. And we're just going to pull this in behind the cuff. We'll do the same thing over here. Curving down, and then back up. We're going to step down, curve to the tip of the fingers, and pull that up underneath the cuff. We're going to add the skirt underneath the top. So from this corner, we're going to step in towards the right and then just curve out. Do the same thing on the right, stepping in towards the left and just curving out. Again, we're gonna connect those two points, just following that same curve along the bottom of the skirt over towards the right. We're gonna add some pleats along the skirt here. So in the middle, draw a straight line. We step over and just angle this one out slightly and then do the same thing on the outside here. Just work our way towards the right as well. Now we're going to add in the legs, so we're going to do some very simple legs. In the middle, we're going to leave a little gap, draw a straight line coming in. On the right, we're going to angle in towards the center. We're going to round out the toes. I'm going to round out the toe on the left. Same thing on the right. I'm going to curve up and underneath the skirt. Curving up. Do the same thing on the right side. We're going to add a little curve along the bottom for the shoe. So down in the middle, and then back up. We're going to step up here and draw on the top of the socks. Curve like that. Same thing on the right. We're going to add a little ribbon on the ends. So right here we're going to curve out. Pull that back in. We're going to do that one more time going down below it. Down and up. Same thing on the right. Looping around. Same thing below. One final thing I want to do is add the eyebrows just on top of the hair. So just above this eyelash. Right up here we're just going to overlap the hair. Going across and in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So right here we're going to curve up and then out and that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's a very simple chibi girl. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and if you did please subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.